Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new vlog. It is October, I feel like it'd be rude not to start the month with a nice cosy wholesome autumn vlog and what better thing to do on an autumn day than to just go shopping at HomeSense. I wanted to pop into home since anyway. There's a couple of things that I've spotted on their socials that I would love to get my hands on, keeping my fingers and toes crossed if you can crush toes. Um, but yeah, I thought we could just spend the day together. I'm having a cozy day, as you can tell. I'm in comfies today. It's a very chilled work. We like to call a Sunday Monday. We like to take our Mondays a bit slower in this house. Tom tends to work from home, so he's in his office upstairs and we just have a bit more of a wholesome day, um, which I really like. It's a bit of a tradition of ours and it just kind of feels like an extra Sunday. Because if I'm being honest with you, especially at this time of the year, being self-employed, it gets busy from now. So quite often at the weekends, we might end up working through. And yeah, I did get on with some work this weekend of which Monday, now I know I'm vlogging, so in theory I am working, but I'd be doing all of these bits anyway today and I just thought I'd bring you guys along with me. So the plan is to have a cozy day. I am also gonna cook some dinner later because HelloFresh very kindly sponsoring today's video. So I have some nice cozy recipes. If you don't know what HelloFresh is, I'm sure most of you do. It's a kind of food subscription, a meal subscription box, which gets delivered straight to your door. That's my phone. Excuse me, I'm talking. Um, but I do actually have a discount code for you guys, which is incredible. So if you're yet to try HelloFresh, you can get 60% off your first box and 20% off your next two months, plus the bonus, free gifts for life with the code Freya Unique. So I'll leave the information on the screen. I'll leave a QR code as well that will take you through to the website and all the links and everything will be left in the description box for you to refer back to. But yeah, now could be the time with the colder months rolling in and the wholesome cooking but with fresh ingredients yummy recipes now could be the time to try it out if you haven't already but yeah more on that later i will show you what we're cooking for our dinner a bit later on i think we're going to have an early dinner tonight because we might go to the cinema it's raining it's drizzly and for me that's the perfect day to head to the cinema and I, we want to go and see this movie speak no evil is it called speak no evil i wanted to go and watch it um a couple of weeks back when we had some really nice weather and it was just it felt it felt wrong to go to the cinema in the sunshine i mean there's no way i was taking tom with me whilst it was sunny so now that it is raining that could be on the agenda today i had a bit of an epiphany this moment what well, this moment this morning whilst i was getting ready i was doing my makeup watching youtube and i was thinking to myself it it's kind of like YouTube for me, watching YouTube, like what's getting ready and like you guys watch my videos. It's kind of like an introvert's way of catching up <laughs> with friends. Cause I always, the, the people that I watch on YouTube and the community that we build as YouTubers, it, it's more than just, it's not like a celebrity thing. It's more like a friendship thing. Like you feel like you would know you feel like you do know that person in real life and even though you don't necessarily you just know that you would get on um if we were to all like live in the same village we'd all be best mates do you know what i mean and i i found that watching um youtube this morning i was thinking this is just like me being able to catch up with a friend without draining my social battery as an introvert that make sense or resonate with any of you guys but anyway so this morning we're gonna start with a nice little w I'm not going just yet i'm gonna make a coffee and have some breakfast but a w with some friends and i think we're gonna go to heaton park which i've never done for a walk before so yeah i'm meeting a couple of girlfriends there we're gonna take the pooches out for a bit of a a walk sun is meant to be shining this morning and then potential for thunderstorms later on this afternoon so it just makes for the perfect perfect day you 
watching me steady, I know. Wondering why I'm so hollow. You're showing me all of your best. Come on. Come on. starting to get the real cozy throws for winter as well obviously they've had the autumn ones for a while but i really like that kind of that just log cabin lapland feel to that one. Oh look it's even got little reindeers on that side i've seen it a couple of times and it's one of those i'm like am i going to regret not getting it it is 24.99 i actually love these and i was very tempted to get them they're only 2.79 little paper plates with the radon welcome text and these little pumpkins but i just don't think i would ever use these maybe if we had kids and maybe more of a kids party but i just i can never see myself using a paper plate and that's the only reason why i wouldn't get these because i think they're gorgeous they've also got some more halloween designs and also loads of these napkins see i'm more likely to get napkins so i might have a look there's some more um around the other side as well but yeah paper plates oh my god everything's falling down could this be a good one to get for barney's bed 14.99 for christmas all these festive golden retrievers there's actually a couple of them and a few of you have sent me photos of this but i just don't know it's quite big usually the blanket on his bed is a bit smaller than this and i can't see myself putting this on the sofa but it's very very cozy I'm starting to get some of the festive crockery in and i just i'm really drawn to this kind of like vintage christmas theme this year Speaking with Autumn, they've got these little noodle bowls that I've never seen before, $6.99 um, for Autumn that come with the chopsticks, they're quite cute. How gorgeous are these, well they're kind of like a marble, and they are solid, marble pumpkin boards, but I don't know if you just maybe have it as display or as a bit of a server platter. They've got larger ones at $16.99, slightly smaller at $12.99. I just think they're so beautiful they also have the bowls with the more darker wood um, and the acorns We are back home and after doing 10,000 steps today, we're doing good already. So yeah, we had a quick look around Home Sense as well and en route out, grabbed myself a maple hazel latte. Also, 
Whilst I was in there, I saw that they sell the ones that you can do at home, the Barista Creations Mabel Hazel Latte from Costa, just as a limited edition. So, grabbed that box. I feel like the caffeine on these is never that, that bad. I did ask for a decaf in store, but... Mmm. Lovely. Okay, so, should we do a little home sense haul now that we're back home? And I have a couple of bags full of goodies. I found the one thing that I went looking for, so very pleased with myself for that. It's me in a candle, and you'll see why. So you know that candle that I have on my kitchen shelf that I switch out seasonally? I've got like a bergamot olive um, one for like the spring summer, then I have all apple crisp, I even vlogged it, apple crisp candle that comes in like a ceramic jar like this. And... I saw this one guys oh my goodness pumpkin harvest scented but guys look it's got a little golden on the front and as you guys know I like my goldens and this just had to come home with me sand and it's actually quite a nice because you know sometimes with pumpkin spice I can be a bit like oh I don't know if I like the smell of that one this one's this one's nice, so I do think I'll burn it as well and obviously just keep the pot and reuse it, it even says there. Please reuse me. Very expensive, those candles for home since they're $16.99, but when I saw that design, it was honestly a no-brainer. That was the one item that I was keeping my eyes peeled for that I'd seen um, a couple of other people get on Instagram, and I was like, oh, I need to hunt that down. I did also see this design as well, though, and they had some ones with cats on as well if you have cats over dogs so definitely check these out um or keep your eyes peeled for these with the them having a load of new designs out but pumpkin spice i, th I think this one's more of one because it's got the little dogs on because again it's sand and paws um i think this one i will actually burn through and test out first oh actually that smells nice as well pumpkin spice i think i prefer the pumpkin harvest but yeah, I will burn through this and give it a test run of actually burning through it and emptying it and just making sure that I do it successfully before doing it with this pot. Because this pot, this candle is going to be one that I'm going to bring out year and year and year. So if I struggle with this, once the candle's out, I will just know that not risk it with this one and just keep that one for best. Um, so yeah, cute little candles can't go to home sense and not buy a candle well at least i can't anyway i also think their cushions have been amazing this year so this is one that i love which is from last year and then i also have one on the living room sofa um which again is home sense and again i love and they just have some gorgeous designs very like pottery barn um just nice embroidered cushions that you can tell there's been a bit more effort gone into it than like i like the matalan one but it's just not the same it's not the same so i might even donate that matalan one because i i although i do like it i just how many pumpkin cushions does one person need i just prefer this one anyway it's an embroidered pumpkin cushion and it's got like um it's got the little tassels on the corner 24.99 but again year after year after year that one's coming back out i also saw this and i'm going to show you where i'm going to pop this because i was deliberating in the shop which one to get they had a small one and then this large one at 16.99 which is the one i got because i thought that would actually make a good replacement for what i've got on our kitchen island currently where we have our little salt and pepper pot and usually a candle it's got the little feet on the bottom as well to protect the work surface and yeah i just i think it's gorgeous i really want to get a curation of autumn homeware pieces that year after year i bring out rather than buying lots of i know i buy a lot to show you guys what's in store but i personally my personal collection i want to get pieces that i will bring out time and time again that they kind of develop after year after year a bit of a nostalgia and a oh kind of feeling when you bring it out which i do get with certain pieces but then there are just lots of like random pumpkins that i'm just like yeah throw some more pumpkins there throw some more pumpkins there i really just want to get pieces like this and this that i will just bring out year after year because they are just so beautifully made so yeah i do think i'm going to have a bit of a clear out of my autumn decor and probably do the same with my christmas stuff as well and if i don't get it out then it's donated if that year it's not out 
as part of the home decorations, then I don't love it enough to keep it in storage for years and years and years because I'll probably never use it. So that's what I need to tell myself, okay? This is me telling myself. I'm so ruthless when it comes to a wardrobe clear out, but when it comes to home decor, I struggle. I also did pick up one other candle. Ooh, at least with candles, I do get through them though. This one is one that I'm thinking of popping in our pantry. So off of the kitchen where we have Barney's dog um, food and he has like a little treat jar up there. I thought this candle would look quite nice sat on the side. It's in the shape of a bone and it is from the Sound and Paws range. And it's again a um, seasonal one. So it's in the autumn harvest scent. It's obviously got five wicks as well. So I also got way too many napkins. You know, I said when I was vlogging in store, I was like, there's some more around the other side. I went around the other side and wow. I don't know where I think I'm going to be using this amount of napkins, but we got four packs. <laughs> so firstly, these two, which are the kind of ready done ones. And I sh showed you the paper plates, which I didn't think I'd have a use for. But obviously a paper napkin is perfect. And these ones are quite small. They are beverage napkins, they call them. But I actually think they're quite a handy size for just if you're popping out nibbles for people to pick at, just to have a little small napkin. And at Halloween, if we did have people over for around Halloween time, I'll get these ones out. Otherwise, for throughout autumn, I thought they were nice. They were £2.79. And then I also got these two kind of larger styles. Again, autumn, not specific to Halloween. So we can use them for a prolonged period. And this one is beautiful. £1.99 for these ones. These little kind of pumpkin illustrations and then these ones. These these two, I was like, I don't need both of them. Which one am I going to get? And I just couldn't decide between the two. So let me know which do you prefer, the more decorated pumpkin one or the more minimal leaf one. Then also in the kitchen section, I saw some seasonal pasta. So I'm a sucker for a seasonal item, as you guys know. And when I saw these, I was like, oh yeah, I'll try those out. So I quite like doing, um, Tom probably wouldn't have these, but whenever he's out and about, I'm just such a pasta fiend. I love pasta. But quite often I will buy like a healthier alternative to just literally have butter, salt, pepper, sometimes a bit of cheese, um, and then sometimes a side salad or some kind of veggies. But otherwise, this has the veggies in it. So this is um, with pumpkin, turmeric, and black pepper. And then this one, I couldn't resist these, and I couldn't leave these guys behind. There were quite a lot of these, if you want to get your hands on them. They had quite a lot in. £2.99 for these, and they are little mini ravioli stuffed pasta with creamy ricotta and pumpkin. And look how mini they are. Why is everything in miniature? So much cuter. I also got some coffee. They had some pumpkin flavoured, like ground coffee. I've been enjoying our coffee bean machine, but you do need the beans. So I think we'll just get the little filter uh, coffee machine out for this one because it's already ground, but it's in pumpkin spice. And how cute is the illustration? We'll take that label off. And then I got a couple of books. So firstly, I've got this one wasted and it is when trash becomes treasure by katie tregden retail price 30 pounds but it was 6.99 in tk max oh the cover of it is lovely it looks like it's from some kind of recycled fabric or something but um yeah domestic waste industrial waste fashion waste food waste plastic waste and it's just all about i suppose it's maybe a bit of educational content these stone tables how nice are they lovely then the other book that i got slightly smaller this one and it's just called green living i have quite a lot of books i'm just thinking about that quite a lot of books this size but to have some smaller ones stacked on top um i have less of but this is a sustainable guide to a more intentional life by jen chillingsworth and this one was only 4.99 Oh, nice cabinet i might get some inspo for styling as well because i really like that kind of rustic strip back happens to be sustainable kind of styling i suppose anyway that is everything that i got from home sense considering i went in to find this and got it over the moon but with all the other bits that i managed to find as well i would say two thumbs up for this uh home sense trip i would say it's a successful one let's pop this in place so i can show you where i mean on my on the island still need to take that bench downstairs i am um, you might have seen in my last vlog, I bought this bench and that's like a 
pillow that I bought from the antiques fair. Oh, here comes a pooch. I like my little shadow, aren't you? I think he always wonders who I'm talking to whenever I'm vlogging. He's like, um, who are you talking to, Mum? Is there someone else in here? Or is it just you? Oh, you look tired. Come here. You look like you could fall asleep standing up. You tired. So he is about to fall asleep, stood up. <laughs> but yeah, I need to take this um, this bench downstairs. I really like it though. Tom actually said it's quite nice having it there, which I do agree to an extent. If it was there, it's handy to have like a bit of a area you can pop your shoes on before you walk down the corridor and go out the door. But I wouldn't fill the little cubby holes with shoes because I just think that would look messy. What I could do maybe though is get some shoe bags you know like some linen shoe bags or something realistically would we do that yeah probably probably but i think i'd even do that if that bench was downstairs so maybe we could give it a go um but yeah i just gave this a wash from the market i did show it to you in my last video but beautiful kind of french linen cushion i just need to give it a little bit of a iron at the corner so it just stays out a little bit more but yeah Anyway, this is exactly what I'm talking about. We need to give a bit of a wipe down anyway, but this is, oh, we're a bit zoomed in there. There we go. This is the plate that I got from Tesco. So I got it this year, so it should still be in stock, but I think that's better suited because it goes up at the sides to have as more of like an actual um, plate for using food and stuff. Whereas this, because it's completely flat, oh, it's heavy. Oh, so heavy. We could just have it sat out like this. Um, we'll take the label off and give it a wash in a second, but just sat with our little salt and pepper there and maybe even a small little candle. Just for now, just take the one from in here. The maple pumpkin. Oh, we could even put the little new doggy one that I've got in there. And although I quite like the wooden lid. Yeah, just something like that as opposed to that where it was a bit wibbly and wobbly and it just wasn't, it's not a tray, is it? It's a plate. So I think that is gonna be a better setup on our island. Do you know where it would also look really nice is in the center of the dining table because it'll be against the wood. Um, I've just popped these, um, this foliage in the bowl because I do quite like it in the bowl with the pumpkins but if you remember I did have it in fact you know what I will pop it back out I had it away because of my little lego house that I was building if you saw my home alone house that's now done though so we can pop it back out like so yeah I do think that looks quite nice with some little wooden bowls but yeah actually the pumpkin um marble board could look quite nice in the center of the table now that my lego's done i feel like we can have it like this for a bit do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna switch i'm talking to the vlog now tommy <laughs> i'm gonna switch these out and maybe pop the uh scenes that we're into october now i'm gonna have a bit of a seasonal decor edition oh look at the state of these guys how do we do we just put oven gloves in the wash because we haven't been precious we have actually used these ones I know, but I just feel like they'll misshape a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to take these off and pop some more October appropriate ones out on display. Can I just scooch in here, please? Tina, tonight, what are we having? We're either going to go with warm autumn butter bean and roasted squash salad with yogurt and Greek style cheese. I'm kind of feeling this. Also calorie smart, cozy sausages in mushroom sauce with garlic mash, roasted carrots. Or... If you want a quick one, we've got super quick bulgogi beef. Is that what you call it? Something's drawing me towards this one. So I think that's what we're going to have for um, an early dinner tonight. If we're going to go to the cinema. Yeah. You always said we were the good ones. Like an 18 minute thriller movie. I always knew you always meant it But now we're standing on the best side too I thought it was about time for a seasonal switch up and we've got this autumn swag on the front door now um, I just wanted to add some pumpkins to the porch really and then we've also got a little 
pumpkin doormat edition. This one was from Matalan this year. And our autumn swag was from Home Sense this year. So yeah, I just thought I would add some pumpkins and then we'll make it a bit more Halloween-y as well within the next um, couple of weeks, I would say. Guys, I'm kind of thinking about putting the wreath that we had before on the back of the front door. Does anyone do that? Does anyone else put a wreath on the inside as well? I just, I quite like the look of a wreath on a door and I just feel like from the inside, this kind of porch area, this wreath would look quite pretty on the back door, back of the front door. So let's pop it up with a little command. I'm just using one of these command hooks. I just got a massive pack of these off Amazon. Um, again, I'll just pop them on my storefront, the ones that I get, but yeah, let's, let's do this, shall we? And my battery's about to die. Let's see if I can do it in time you guys to see or is it going to cut me off Ta -da. happy with that um what have i brought you in here for oh yeah i was gonna show you guys look i've just popped him over here for now a little home alone house um but yeah i'm definitely gonna get some of you suggested they do the light pack so as like a an add-on you can buy on like amazon or something so i'm gonna buy that but yeah we're done with the uh Home Alone house, <laughs> all complete. The little tree and uh, even little van behind here as well. So yeah, we'll get this out. I mean, I quite like it there to be honest with you, but I just, it definitely needs the light pack and it's definitely gonna be a Christmas decoration, I think. We're gonna bring it out year in year. Um, so anyway, are you gonna settle in here for a bit? I've just been doing some sorting and some tidying out and uh, you stay there and also down here i was going to show you oh i was going to show you the bench pop this down in the laundry but yeah we've got our little bench in situ i will say though as nice as it looks well i mean i think it looks nice anyway under the peg board i would say it's probably not designed to sit on there are little bits of it that are just showing signs of wear and tear of which I don't like it's very light it's not heavy it's not like a well-built one it's more for show <laughs> so I much prefer it to the one that we had before though I do like that as an upgrade but and we never used to sit on it so I thought to have it down here I might even get rid of that cushion the seat cushion and just have it um, with just this cushion on top of it. But I definitely think I'm gonna get some shoe bags for underneath though, so that um, it looks a little neater than just loads of shoes in there. But yeah, I've just propped up the ironing board, put my riding gear up there, kind of like our little cleaning station down here. And this is the chaos that we need to get some shoe bags for. Radio, it is dinner time. We decided earlier we we're gonna have this one, perfect for autumn. Cozy sausage and mushroom sauce with garlic mash and roasted carrots. It's gonna take about 35 to 40 minutes, one of our five a day, under 650 calories. So let's get going. I thought we could do a little bit of cooking, chatting, and I could maybe share some of my favorites within the video. I know I've got like my kind of routine of doing a monthly instruction vlog and including some favorites. I don't have loads this month, but we've had quite a few. I feel like it's the month for TV. Good TV from September onwards, you get some really good TV and yeah. And I have been watching some good TV. Let's just pop this candle here. I might light that whilst I'm, whilst I'm cooking. Hello Fresh is tonight. We have been customers. Have, how long have we? I think I first ever bought, like bef before even working with them, first ever bought Hello Fresh and became a customer myself. I know it was definitely in the old house, so it's at least five years ago. So we have loved it. The thing that we tend to do is quite often we will pause it. So depending on what's going on in our lives at the moment as to whether or not we're both here maybe tom's away with business or a few nights um, that week he's maybe eating out with work friends and we might just pause it and skip it to next the next week or if you go away you can easily do that as well so it is pause cancel any time it's 
that's the main thing that drew me into it because I know that our lives personally we're very here there and everywhere and we don't know what's going on when so it just gives us that flexibility which we love but having said that when we do have the hello fresh i'm just going to get the numbered bag which corresponds to the instructions card 27 the recipe card yeah when we do have it we eat really well and we eat obviously the fresh ingredients wholesome cook like freshly cooked recipes um and yeah, I, I love it. It also takes away the need to decide, like make a decision um, and have to go to the supermarket and buy all the ingredients for the meals. You've got everything portioned perfectly for your meals. So we tend to do two, no, sorry, three meals a week, but for two people. We have the mushroom kind of red wine jus, which will slowly simmering away and keeping warm. The uh, potatoes in boiling, which aren't far off, ready for mashing with the garlic, which is in the oven, and the sausages and carrots are in there. So I've got a second. So I thought I could grab my phone where I've taken note of some of my monthly favorites once we've got a couple of minutes left on my timer and talk them through. So last night was the first time we started watching a new Netflix dramatization thriller type show. I think there's about nine episodes. So it's a good, chunky, wholesome watch and it's called Monsters, the Hernandez Brothers. Um, you'll see it when it comes up on recommendations or on new in, but I think it's the same people that did the monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story, which I loved. Again, it was like a dramatization of Jeffrey Dahmer, who was like a notorious serial killer who like was eating his victims. It was, it's pretty horrendous guys, the story. But I think that's why I like true crime. It's because it's like so shocking. It's like, I love anything on TV that makes me go like jaw dropping, you know? So obviously the fact that it's real life is just horrendous, um, but it's almost like hard to believe that it's real life. Well, anyway, the new one, the Hernandez brothers essentially killed their parents and we're about four episodes in. So we've got another four or five to go and we're kind of at the point now where it's kind of getting into the story of like why they did it. First episode, you kind of like find out that they did it, so it's not too much of a spoiler, but then it's more delving into the reasons and them as brothers, and I'm sure it's gonna to get to the point of what happened to them and where they're at now, which I'll say you could easily just Google, but I don't want to, I want to hold off for the series. Um, but yeah, so that was, uh, or it is, an interesting watch. I'm sure we will carry on another couple of episodes of that tonight. It's already one that I'm thinking, oh, I don't want it to end. Again, if you're into true crime, another one that I watched on the, um, it was on Disney actually, Disney Plus. It was the story of um, Sherry Papini, I think she was called, and it's called The Perfect Wife. I have mentioned it when I, um, started watching it on in a vlog at some point I mentioned it and another and it's just come to mind that another kind of true story this latest one the two-part one on Netflix I think it's called into the fire and it's about two mothers um, stories of finding in fact because it's only two episodes you can't really say what it's about without spoiling it 
or like spoiling the shocking moments. There's a few shocking moments as you go throughout the series or throughout the two episodes. So just, again, another true crime documentary worth watching. And there's my timer. Another reminder, if you wanted to take advantage of the offer that I have with HelloFresh, with the code Freya Unique, as well as the QR code that I will leave linked on screen, I'll leave all the information and everything in the description box if you want to refer back to it. But let me know if you try out on my recommendation if you use my code. Um, and... I'm sure you guys are going to love it just as much as I do. think of that movie rating out of 10 six. six i'm gonna give it a 7.5 i quite liked it it's more my kind of movie i think <laughs> you were struggling with a lot of scenes weren't you you're like oh, it's like always the way when people are trying to escape it's like why would you do that or why would you do that but it was good i enjoyed it anyway we're gonna head back home now it's not too late might get in an episode of that program we were watching that I was telling you guys about earlier. Um, but otherwise, just call it a night. So thank you for watching this video, guys. And also review on the little mini M&Ms. Love them. I remember these, though. These, for me, are a throwback. Does anyone else remember them? I don't know if I'm imagining it. You can't remember them, can you? Um, but anyway, we are heading back home and calling it a night. So thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed it don't forget to check out hellofresh via the code and link that we'll leave in the description box to save money thank you to them for working with me on today's video thanks to you guys for watching and i hope to see you all in the next one bye guys